I'm Rod and I happen to be the proud owner of the 2019 Model 3 um, Tesla. Now, um, one of the, uh, owning a Tesla is a fantastic experience, mm. but one of the, the known issues with these Model 3s, one's a 2019, is uh, that they start to, to creak in the front end uh, when you go over a bump at, at low speed. And you'll know it when it's happening because it becomes quite loud and quite pronounced. Now, if you're still in warranty, then you can take it back to Tesla and they'll fix it under warranty. My car happens to be out of warranty, just, and so I am going to fix it myself. At least, we've had a go at fixing it ourselves, and we went through one of the videos on YouTube, and um, when you exercise this little knuckle thing, and it worked for a while, but it didn't fix it. Now my mate Brian, he's got a fix for it. It's really easy. And so we're going to show you that in this video today. And the source of the problem, if you can zoom in here, is this little uh, knuckle on the top here that's on the top wishbone. Now uh, the, the actual joint itself is the source of the creaking. There's, there's nothing else in the suspension that we've found causes the creaking, it's just this, this knuckle at the top. So we'll give you a close-up of it and we'll show you how to fix it. So we're just in the process of um, fixing this, this boot problem, the creaky front-end boot. And Brian here has um, got an amazing uh, method of doing it. Which is, what sort of grease is that? Uh, well, this is Inox uh, high-pressure, high-temperature grease. Oh. Fairly good quality grease. Is that what you'd normally use on a tractor or something? Like um, high pressure um, wheel bearings and things like that. So yeah, yeah. anything that's under a bit of pressure. So yeah. that's probably not, it's probably not too bad. But the pressure, but yeah. So Brian's actually, this is his method of doing it. And you say you've got, what, another 10,000 Ks and it's still not creaking? Uh, I've done 25,000 Ks in, in tw nearly 12 months. All right. And it's not creaking. So. No. And my like creek, my creek was pretty bad, yeah. embarrassingly loud. <laughs> yeah. So, so this might be, you know, a relatively easy, semi-permanent fix for that issue. And yeah. also, Critical my problem. my car operates in fairly dusty, dirty, yeah, yeah. rural environment. Rural so. Environment. Yeah. So now he's just putting on the needle. Yep. Syringe. Yeah, so you know, ten mil syringe and a slightly coarser needle would probably make things a bit easier. Yeah. yeah. So we've got to jack the car up a little bit to um, so it can get the needle in. So it needs that that uh, rubber block, which is a special thing for the Model Three under there, and a very low jack. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Most normal jacks, the Model 3 is a bit too low for. So you've got to get a kind of a low profile one because it's only about 100 and, maybe 150 mil off the ground, I think. And then jack the car up. Just enough so it exposes the, uh, the boot there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got the boot there. Inject it with some grease. That's just down the bottom, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I'll put a bit in there. How much grease is in that syringe? It's about five mil. About five mil. The whole thing's about five mil. It's, the needle's a little fine, so it takes a fair bit of pressure because it's just a a veterinary syringe. Yeah. Benefits of being a farmer. Now it looks 
side that's going on. Yeah, so that's a fair bit of pressure. I'm holding onto the end yeah. of the needle, yeah. onto the syringe just in case it uh, <laughs> decides to burst off. The, the, the other the other people I saw do it on on other channels. Yeah. They injected about ten mil or more, ten or fifteen mil. Yeah. So they, they put yeah. it into the boot expanded. Yeah, you wouldn't think the boot would hold that much. Look at that! It's all going in. Oh, Jesus, tight. <laughs> <laughs> So you're putting quite a bit of pressure on that. Yeah. I need a, I need a coarser needle. It, it needs quite a bit of pressure just to get it through that little needle. Yeah, it's yeah. a tiny needle. Yeah. Of course, the grease is quite... I'll have a look at the needle when you pull it out. Yeah. That's the, that's the pin there. Let's see if we can get close up on that. All right. So, yeah, yeah that has expanded slightly behind there. So probably if you give it a bit of a, oh yeah. So then I just massaged it. Definitely made a difference there. Yeah. yeah, so then I just massaged it around to get up towards the top. I can just hear it in again. You can but hear it going in there. I can just hear it moving around, around a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I was tempted when I did mine to put another syringe worth in around the other side and on the top part of the boot, but I didn't. Yeah. And, and it's, that's lasted 12 months. Yeah. Yeah. And about 25,000 kilometers. I reckon that'll do it. So it seems like they just didn't really put enough grease in there to begin with. Yeah. And, and the reason. If yeah. it does start creaking, probably just a bit of a massage of that boot and fix it anyway. Yeah. And the only reason I used that very fine needle was just so the, the hole closed up yeah. properly again yeah. and I didn't want to damage the boot. Out, it out again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. That's how it's done.